Alright guys, Tom here and welcome to a new video. I've been really excited to bring you my predictions for the Royal Rumble 2016 pay-per-view. Let's get right into this guys. If you could do me a favour and smash the likes, that'd be absolutely brilliant. We've got some great gameplay for you guys to watch whilst you listen to my predictions for the Royal Rumble. We're going to kick things off by talking about the main event, the big one. I'm going to predict the actual Royal Rumble match. Who do you think I think is going to win this match? I bet you guys think I'm going to predict Roman Reigns, but nope, it's not Roman Reigns. It's not Brock Lesnar either. I think that Triple H is winning the Royal Rumble match. I've been thinking this for ages, guys, but Roman Reigns winning, way too predictable. Brock Lesnar winning, with all the superstars out, you've got like John Cena out, Randy Orton out, Daniel Bryan out. They really need a champion who is there every single week, and Triple H is there every single week. That's why I don't think it's Brock Lesnar. Roman Reigns entering at number one, too damn god predictable. Way too predictable, too obvious. Would not be fun at all. That's why I think Triple H is winning. We haven't seen him since the TLC pay-per-view. He's going to come out of absolutely nowhere. Take everybody by surprise. But it shouldn't do because it makes absolute sense. He hasn't been seen since the TLC pay-per-view. But there, why? There must be a reason why they've been keeping him off, the t off TV. And that reason is because they want him to have him as a surprise entrant in the Royal Rumble match. And Triple H against Roman... For the title at WrestleMania 32 has been on the cards for a while and it makes complete sense. That's why Triple H should enter the Royal Rumble, win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship off Roman Reigns and walk out. Everybody will be pissed, but it makes complete sense. Like, Triple H winning the title, that's exactly what the Authority have been trying to do for the last month. Take that belt off Roman Reigns. It just makes so much sense. This would create a huge rivalry between Triple H and Roman Reigns, which will culminate at the WrestleMania. It just makes so much sense for Triple H to do it. And guess what, guys? Maybe Triple H enters a number 31. Think about this. If Roman Reigns eliminates everybody, he wins the Royal Rumble match, and then Triple H's music goes off, and it, they say it's number 31, that they've actually added another entrant into the Royal Rumble. Triple H comes down and wins the WWE World Heavyweight Championship off Roman Reigns. That'd be amazing. What do you guys think about that? That's what I think is happening this year in the Royal Rumble match. Past Royal Rumble matches have been way too predictable. Last year, Roman winning was way too predictable. I don't think they'll want to do the same thing again. The year before, Batista winning way too predictable. Then John Cena winning, that was way too predictable as well. Nobody expects this to happen. We haven't seen him on TV for months. He comes out, wins the Rumble, creates an amazing feud between the Authority and Roman Reigns, which culminates at WrestleMania. That is exactly what should happen at the Royal Rumble. That'd be amazing. We're then going to move on to the next match, which is the Intercontinental Championship last man standing match between Dean Ambrose against Kevin Owens. I'm going to go and say that Dean Ambrose is winning this match because this feud has been happening since November. We saw them have a match at Survivor Series, then TLC, now at the Royal Rumble. It's getting a little bit boring. So if Dean Ambrose retains here, then the feud can finally end. Because if Kevin Owens wins, it's just going to have to carry on a little bit longer. And I don't think anybody wants that. It's been going on for a while. End it here with Dean Ambrose retaining. That's what I think is going to happen. Now, Dean Ambrose... Should really pull, over, pull away Kevin Owens here because then he can finally move on to a new feud. Something fresh, something interesting. We're coming up to WrestleMania. We don't want any old boring feuds like this. Let Dean Ambrose win here. Move on to somebody new. Get a fresh new feud as the road to WrestleMania begins. And finally, one last reason is there's really no reason to put the belt right back on Kevin Owens. This feud started so that they could put their belt on Dean Ambrose. So if they're going to put it right back on Kevin Owens, that makes absolutely no sense. So for me, Dean Ambrose is winning this match and walking away with the Intercontinental Championship. The next match we are predicting is the US title match between Alberto Del Rio against Callisto. And the winner of this match, I'm saying, is Alberto Del Rio. Now, if you think about it, this started, they started this small feud with Callisto literally just to scrape together a feud for the Royal Rumble. The original plan was to have John Cena against Del Rio, but since he's out injured, they needed somebody to take his place. 
So they just thought, oh, we'll throw Callisto in there. So they never really had any plans to put the belt on Callisto. So he's definitely not walking out at the Royal Rumble with the belt. And also, Callisto was pinned by Sheamus on Raw. So they really haven't bothered to build him up that much. They're really not bothered about this match at all. They kind of just threw this together in the last minute just so... Alberto Del Rio could defend his title on the pay-per-view. It could be anybody. If it was Del Rio against anybody else on the roster, it would be the same result. Del Rio is always walking out with the title at the Royal Rumble because their original plan was always to have Cena against Alberto Del Rio. They don't care about Callisto. He's literally there just so the actual title is defended on the pay-per-view. They had never had any plans to put the belt on Callisto. So Del Rio is easily retaining here. Probably the most predictable match on the pay-per-view. We're now going to move on to the Divas Championship match, which is Charlotte against Becky Lynch. And I'm going to say that Becky Lynch is possibly winning this match. That's my prediction. I'm going for Becky Lynch because Becky Lynch finally getting her payback on Charlotte and winning the title makes sense. I mean, Charlotte has been cheating her way through matches for months now. And if Becky Lynch defeats Charlotte finally clean in the middle of the ring, that makes a hell of a lot of sense. That'll be really entertaining. And finally, she gets her payback on Charlotte. Also, you've got to think that Sasha Banks and Paige are out of action. So they're missing loads and loads of their top divas. And if Charlotte retains here, then who's going to face Charlotte at Fastlane? There's not really any other diva that Charlotte can face at Fastlane. So it kind of sort of plays into their hands by having Becky Lynch walk away with the title because then they can sort of continue the feud up until Fastlane because once Fastlane's over, hopefully maybe Sasha or Paige will be back so whoever's the Divas champion at that point can feud with either Sasha or Paige. But at this current time, I think if Charlotte retains here, then who does she really face after that if she's put away one of the biggest Divas in the division, Becky Lynch? If Becky Lynch wins here... Then they continue the feud. We can have it up until fast lane. That's all fine and dandy. There's nobody else on the roster Charlotte could possibly face at fast lane. So they've got to put the title on Becky Lynch and have the rematch at fast lane. Also, the feud has been really entertaining. So I don't think anybody would be too bothered if Lynch wins the title here and the feud continues because it's been good. What's been the problem with this feud? There hasn't been any. So who cares if the feud carries on? It's been interesting. I want to see more. It makes sense for Becky Lynch to walk out with a title that's getting her ultimate revenge on Charlotte. There's no other diva for Charlotte to face after this, so I think they need to put the belt on Becky Lynch. She's a great wrestler. This will do wonders for her. Put the belt on Becky Lynch. That makes absolute sense. The next match I'm predicting is the New Day against the Usos for the Tag Team Championships. I'm saying... The New Day. Like, they are the superior tag team. They're doing a great job as champions. There's no reason to take the belts off the champions. Nobody's excited about the Usos winning the belts either. Who cares? Like, what? Nobody cares if the Usos win the belts here. So just keep it on the on the New Day. Also, on Raw, Big E defeated Jey Uso. So the Usos really haven't been built up to take the, di the titles off the New Day anyway. And this match is pretty much just a filler match. The New Day should retain here. We've seen the New Day against the Usos many, many times before. So if the New Day win here, hopefully they can move on to a feud with maybe the Dudley Boys or they can move on to a feud with the Wyatt family. The Usos against the New Day has been happening for a while now. I don't want to see this match again. Hopefully the New Day retain and move on to bigger and better things. The next and final match is actually a pre-show kickoff match. A fatal four-way tag match. And the winners actually go on to the Royal Rumble match. You've got Darren Young and Damian Sandow against the Dudley Boys. Against the Ascension. Against Mark Henry and Jack Swagger. What a mouthful. But when you're looking at the list of people... The only people I care about are the Dudley boys, and that's exactly who I think is winning here. Who cares about Darren Young and Damian Sandow? That's not even a proper team. They've just mashed them together for this match. The Ascension, they're always buried anyway. Mark Henry and Jack Swagger, they're not even a proper tag team, so why should you give the win to them? The winner, I see, is the Dudley boys. I mean, if you look at the list there, there's only the Dudley boys that anybody cares about. And with all the stars out, Randy Orton, John Cena... It's going to be really, really hard to make the Royal Rumble match interesting. So you've got to use all the all the superstars you've got your hands on. And the Dudley boys in the Royal Rumble match 
makes up the star power, and that's exactly what they should do here. They should have the Dudley Boys win here, then they're in the Rumble match, because you've got all these great names out, but if the Dudley Boys are in there, then I suppose it's okay. So, what do you guys think? If you guys disagree with me, agree with me on my predictions, I'd love to know. These are my Royal Rumble 2016 predictions. We've got Triple H winning the Royal Rumble match. What do you guys say about that? Hopefully, you have in fact enjoyed this video. Smash the likes as well. I'm going to play my outro. Remember to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. The links are in the outro. Take care. Spike your hair. Let's do it. The cushiony. Don't reverse it, bro. Oh my god, he's going to reverse it, isn't he? Yes. Oh my god.